Welcome back guys to another Magicka PvE build for the Blackwood chapter. Like I promised, I did a Magicka Nightbird setup ready for you. After 2 hours parsing with a dual wield inferno setup, I managed to get almost 106k DPS, thanks to the new mythic item Harpooners Raiding Killed, Magblades got a huge buff, with the extra crit rate and the crit damage. If you prefer a range setup with an inferno front bar, Use it, the DPS is almost the same as duels to be honest. Before the video starts, quick reminder, I know it's annoying, but guys do me the favor, sub my channel, support me, I would really appreciate it. And now have fun with the video. Let's talk about the rotation. There are two important keys. The first one is like on every rotation, keep up your dots and use the spammable in between, with light attacks of course. The second important thing is the correct timing, to know when to use your ultimate incap. Incap or soul harvest increases your damage done by 20% for 6 seconds. Try to not waste this burst phase with skills like barb trap and siphoning attacks, which deals zero damage. Don't recast too many dots in this phase. Try to use assassin's will always after incap to empower it. One example in terms of timing. If, let's say, three dots, which are Unstable Wall, Dark Shade and Twisting Path on your back bar are close to expire, then don't use Incap on cooldown. Take your time, reapply those dots first to not waste any time in the Spurs phase, and then you use Incap to empower all of your dots and to have enough time to spam Elemental Weapon as often as possible. Another tip, don't stay too long on your back bar. Use at maximum 2 back bar skills before your bar swap, which means you need to bar swap a lot of times on a Magicka Nightblade. It's necessary, otherwise we lose a ton of crit, since we have 2 daggers in precise front bar, which we don't have on the back bar. I hope those tips and tricks are helpful. If something is still unclear about it, type your questions in the comment section below. I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Now let's take a look on the pre-buff rotation. As pre-buff use channeled acceleration, merciless charge, siphoning attacks, dark shade and then the death ultimate, swap after to your other setup with barb trap and incap with an add-on like dressing room, then use unstable wall with twisting path, bar swap, use assassin's will with debilitate and degeneration. And then try to use all the tips and tricks that I said before to gain the maximum DPS. By the way, the animation of the dual light attacks with elemental weapon is buggy, so <laughs> just keep an eye on the skill bar. Don't look at the character, because just yeah, the animation is bugged as you can see. He's doing heavies and, and medium attacks instead of light attacks. But now enjoy the path.
Let's take a look on the build, 5 Mother Sorrow on the body, with the new mythic item Harpoonus Wading Kilt, which gives us 10% more crit damage and almost 6% crit with 10 stacks. 1 Slime Core for extra crit. On Jewelry, 5 Seroria, full bloodthirsty, with 2 daggers, both precise front bar with a flame and poison chant. You can use the Seroria Inferno here if you don't have the possibility to stay melee in raids or dungeons. On the back bar, like always, the Malsum Inferno stuff in infused with the Berserk Glyph. Against Daedras, you can use the Prismatic Glyph here. And on you trial, the second and the third boss, for example, are Daedras, so use it, it deals a ton of damage. Quick look on the skills. Only one skill has changed since last patch. Instead of Crippling Grasp, we use Debilitate. It deals more damage and gives minor Magicka steal too. Pretty good. Impale, our Execute, which we use at 25%. Elemental Weapon is spammable. If you have performance issues, like here on PTS, you could use Swallow Soul instead. Merciless Resolve, Degeneration and Incubus Ultimate. On the back bar, Twisting Path, Unstable Wall of Fire, Barb Trap for Minor Force. If you use Medusa as set, you could slot a shield here instead. Siphoning Attacks for Sustain, Dark Shade and Incap again for extra crit. As Race, Khajiit is the best choice, High Elf and Dammo are a tiny bit weaker. As Mundus, the Thief for extra crit. I did some passes with the Shadow Mundus, but Thief seems to be still better even if you almost have 90% crit. As Buffoot, Ghastly Eyeball, in raids or dungeons with no sustain issues, you could use the Arteum Picklefish Bowl or the Green Max Magica Food for even more Magica. CP wise, only one blue CP has changed, Master at Arms, the new blue CP, which gives us 10% more direct damage. It's also a reason why Magikanabis are stronger than before, thanks to this juicy blue CP. The other ones are still the same, Backstabber, Fighting Finesse and Deadly Aim. If you can't flank the enemy, use Taumaturge instead. Red CPs, Rejuvenation, Boundless Vitality, Slippery and Ironclad. Here ends the video, I hope everything is clear, if you still have some questions, type it in the comment section below. The next PvE build will be probably a Magicka Dragon Knight build, so stay tuned for that and a ton of more videos. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video.